Hi! Today, we're going to learn how to trace and evaluate arguments in informational texts. I know, I know, that might sound a little boring, but trust me, it's actually really cool and important. By the end of this video, you'll be able to distinguish between claims that are supported by reasons and evidence, and claims that are just made up. So, let's get started. When we're reading an informational text, it's important to understand the author's argument. To do this, we need to look for the main claim or thesis the author is making. Think of it like this, if you were making a persuasive speech, what's the big idea that you want to convince your audience of? That's your thesis, or argument. In a text, it might not always be obvious what the author's argument is, but don't worry. We can still find it. Just ask yourself, what's the point the author is trying to make? Now that we know what the argument is, we need to evaluate the claims the author is making to support their argument. A claim is simply a statement the author is making to support their argument. But not all claims are created equal. Some claims are backed up by reasons and evidence, and some aren't. So, how do we tell the difference? Well, think about it like this. If someone says, I know aliens exist, because I saw one in my backyard last night, you'd probably be skeptical, right? That's because there's no evidence to support their claim. But if someone says, I know aliens exist, because of this study conducted by NASA that found microbial life on Mars, you might be a little more convinced. That's because there's evidence to support the claim. In the same way, when we're reading an informational text, we need to look for evidence to support the author's claims. If there's no evidence, then we need to be skeptical of that claim. Let's take a look at some real-world examples. Example number one. Eating fast food is bad for your health. Now, this is a pretty common claim, but is it supported by evidence? Well, there have been numerous studies that have shown that regularly eating fast food can lead to health problems, like obesity, high cholesterol, and heart disease. So, in this case, the claim is supported by evidence. Example number two. Drinking coffee makes you taller. This one is a little more, um, out there. But let's evaluate it anyway. Is there any evidence to support this claim? No, there isn't. So, we can be skeptical of this claim. So, there you have it. By tracing the argument and evaluating the claims in an informational text, you can separate the fact from the fiction. And, who knows, you might even learn something new along the way. 